Your next performer, everybody. I want you to show some love. You get you ready to show some love? You ready? Okay. Our next comedian is either a telenovela villain or a Filipino ante. It all depends on the angle. Please welcome Nicole Kerbs. <laughs> I know what we're thinking. She looks like she speaks Spanish. I get it. We share the same colonizer, so. I know enough Spanish to say, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm Filipino. I know this is confusing. So there's two types of Filipino women. The first, I like to call the uh, South Pacific Filipino. She's the one that uh, Marines usually bring home as wives. The They're usually beautiful and thin and like literally forever 21. Um, the second Filipino woman I like to call, uh, colonize me, I dare you. Or as my Filipino mom likes to say, fuck around and find out. <laughs> We've all seen Lilo and Stitch, right? All right. Yeah, we're, uh, we're Lilo shaped. Lilo adjacent. Baby Samoan, if you will. We're the ones that can crack coconuts open with our thighs. We might be a little thick with two C's, but we're built like, you know, cute little running backs. <laughs> the kind that sent the white people running back to the boats. Uh, no, but I actually really like my body type. I'm strong. I'm a surprisingly fast runner. I have a weirdly slow heart rate, like an athlete, according to my doctor. <laughs> After she tells me I'm morbidly obese, and then uh, screens me for depression. Uh, no, but I mean, I, I am a little thick with two C's, but I feel like it's all in the right places and it's fine. Um, but I will say that when I uh, take pictures with friends who are not built like baby Samoans like I am, um, I do usually feel like a five foot tall Hagrid. Like, like I might be standing next to a friend that's like a size two and uh, I somehow look like I'm 20 feet closer to the camera accidentally the star of every photo. Uh, no, but um, I will say that uh, being thick, I think, is a survival tactic. It is. That's right. It's a fact. Because if you binge true crime content, then you'll know the number one threat to a woman's life is men. The second largest threat is probably cancer. I don't know. Um, so let's imagine for a second a serial killer just like looking for his next victim, right? And then he like comes across me, me with my uh, buff ass calves, me with muscles sculpted by God herself, me built out of nothing but hot Cheetos and Takis. Just imagine, just, just imagine being like, come here. And me just like whipping around, taking off my uh, gold hoops and just looking him dead in the face and being like, make me. <laughs> Lift me, bitch. Every day is like day when you're built like me, baby. I mean, I know everybody wants a thigh gap, but like thick thighs save lives, okay? Um, I actually really like exercising though, um, but I will say I'm kind of a glass half empty kind of lady. So let's talk about the exercises I hate, okay? Hot take, fuck spin classes. In spin classes, they got this like loud music to get y'all pumped and this like fun bisexual purple lighting. And like, 
uh, you're not only paddling like a hamster on a wheel, but you gotta do this whole like upper body dance routine at the same time for some reason. <laughs> All instructed, by the way, by some spin instructor probably named Maverick or something. He's wearing his Britney Spears microphone, peer pressuring you to like pedal towards the life that you want. <laughs> don't stop, keep going. Pains and gains or some shit, I don't know. Um, and like everyone's eyes are just like glued to their handlebars and they're just screaming like, we can't stop, we are one, we are one. And like if you do stop, spin instructor Maverick or spin instructor Griffin or spin instructor Glimmer, whoever the fuck it is that day is gonna spin shame the shit out of you if you stop. Also, fuck those spin seats. All right? Every time I get off one of those stupid bikes, I have a numb front bum, just all day, all day. So I was raised by city people that were frightened of places where they couldn't access cable. But like out here, you guys do all kinds of like outdoor activities. Like you'll go kayaking and like whitewater rafting and like hiking, like all those activities on the Girl Scout cookie boxes. I genuinely thought these were staged images by Big Cookie. I didn't think these were real. They are. Um, but hiking seems to be the gateway drug into the great outdoors. And I often agree to like go hiking with friends that I make, but then I'll like hear like a true crime podcaster's voice just being like, so on their third date, he took her hiking. <laughs> Fatal mistake. <laughs> also not a big fan of lake activities. I'm from Las Vegas, okay? Uh, lakes are where mobsters dump the bodies, all right? <laughs> You'll find them, global warming's happening. They're just gonna pop up, it's gonna be fine. Also though, fuck zip lining, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why would I attach myself to a goddamn wire and fly through the tree's vagina first? Why would I do that? <laughs> No, mm, no. Why would I deliberately put my life into the hands of some like Patagonia wearing cliff bar eating hippie named Dave who just got my ass hanging by a carabiner clip? <laughs> Sir, my carabiner clip can barely keep my keys attached to my ass. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but it's okay. I got a helmet on. Thanks for that. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. But the, uh, the activity that I find the most ridiculous is spelunking. Also known as caving if you're not a German toddler, making up words. <laughs> so if we don't know what caving is, let me explain. So basically like you just burrow into the ground like a gopher and like explore the earth from the inside. <laughs> like on purpose. I don't, like what's down there? I don't know, bodies? Like, there was actually this one guy who uh, went spelunking and he like took a wrong turn and he got stuck. And they had to call in like this whole rescue team. They had like news coverage, it was like a whole thing. Pfft, embarrassing. Um, <laughs> they had to like burrow in there and like try to pull him out and they couldn't. So he just stayed there. He's still there right now. So let's imagine me and my friends are gonna go caving, right? And we like come across a tunnel, right? and everyone slips through just fine, no problem. And then there's me and I like try to squirm through and I can't, right? Like would my friends have to just loop me up as I'm just like panicking? <laughs> like what am I gonna do? Like earth, the earth isn't gonna budge for me, are you shitting me? Um, I could just imagine like mother earth's voice in my ear just being like in the world of spelunking. <laughs> A lot like fashion. Your eyes are in or you're out. You are too big to spelunk. <laughs> Bro, imagine getting body shamed by the actual planet. <laughs> My friends would just keep going and I guess I'd just sit there, just being a cork in Mother Earth's ass. I don't know. <laughs> like confusing all these moles and gophers around me. And they'd probably have to call in like a group of tired park rangers to like come and rescue me. And imagine them just like popping in being like, all right, get on in there and me having to be like make me <laughs> lift me bitch 
All right, you guys have been great. I'm Nicole Kerbs. Nicole Kerbs.